Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I have a quick tutorial on uh, how to span your wallpaper across dual monitors. So if you have dual monitors, you might have seen some other people who actually have uh, a cool effect where their wallpaper, instead of just having the same wallpaper uh, on both monitors, they actually have one long, really wide wallpaper that extends and spans across two monitors. I'll show you some examples on screen here. Um, and if that is what you want to do and you're wondering how to do it, it's pretty easy. And uh, I'll show you exactly how to do it. So for this to work as well as it can, you need to have uh, either, well, the exact same monitor or monitor, that, monitor that's the exact same size and resolution. So um, unfortunately I don't, but it can still work because I have a 23 inch monitor as my main one. And my second monitor is 20 inches, so it's smaller. And the resolution of my second monitor is only 1600 by 900 where my main monitor is, is 1080p it's 1920 by 1080 so but don't worry if, if you have the same thing as me it will still work it just it would of course it will look not, not as good because the monitor is not the same but it really works best if you have the same monitor with the same resolution that's the same size so what you have to do is find a picture that is the same height as your resolution like uh, i have 1080p so this height will be 1080 but the width has to be double uh your your pixel width so my pixel width is 1920 so uh let, let's say that you have a 1080p monitor since that's what's really common these days but if you have a 144p monitor the same way to figure out what size picture you need is the same what you have to do is go to display settings so yeah, so as you can see here, my second monitor is smaller. So if you have the same size monitors, this will work well. So choose your main monitor, the one where you have your Windows, your type to search on. This is on Windows 10, by the way, if you can't tell. It will say number one, two, click on it. And this is the resolution. So make sure you choose the, the best resolution, what your what the monitor actually is. So mine is a 1080p monitor, 1920 by 1080. So that means that the picture that we need, the wallpaper that we need, the size, if, let me just open up the calculator here. It has to be... The, the height 1080p has to stay the same because of course the the, the height of the screen don't doesn't change it's just the width of the whole screen so what you want to do is find a picture that is 1920 times 2 which is 3840. So since the height stays the same, you need to find a wallpaper picture that is, has a pixel resolution of 3840 by 1080. So there's a pretty cool website where you can actually find some uh, dual monitor backgrounds that already, the resolutions are all set for you. It's called dualmonitorbackgrounds.com. So if you click click to set preferences here, we can actually see there's they actually already provide a bunch of presets for you that you already done. So as you can see, this is 3840 by 1080. This is the resolution that we need since we have a 1080p monitor. It actually says here, 1920 by 1080 times two. So if you have two 1080p monitors, choose this one. Let's say you have a, a 1440p monitor that you would choose this one, 5120 by 1440. Again, make, uh, the the height of the monitor, the height of the picture, the resolution that always stays the same. So make sure if, if you know what type of monitor, what type of resolution your monitor is, 1080p, just look for 1080 for the second number. So since we have a 1080p, make sure you click 3840 by 1080. It will only show pictures with that resolution. So, but if this website doesn't have the wallpaper you need or the wallpaper that they have is like not good, uh, it, maybe you want something sort of specific, then you can actually go to Google Images to do it. Uh, just search for the thing you want. I just wanted a Toronto skyline. Go to Images and then make sure to remember this exact resolution here, 3840 by 1080. That is what we need. Go to Tools, Size, exactly and then just type in the width so the width is 3840 and the height is 1080 press go and depending on how specific or how general your what you search for is you're going to get a lot of, of pictures and they might not be that relevant to your search term but now that we've done the tools size 3840 by 1080 every single picture on google images will be exactly 3840 by 1080 so it's a really cool tool you can use uh, you can just use google images it's really good it's really useful so again, the, the Toronto skyline they had here, it was not a good picture. So I really wanted, uh, which one was it? I think it was this one that was pretty cool that I really liked. What you would do is just right click, uh, save image as, save it to your pictures or whatever. I think I already have one. Then go to it. It is right here, Toronto skyline.jpg. What you wanna do now is right click on it and press set as desktop background. So now you may be wondering, well, it doesn't work because as you can see, uh, you can't tell because uh, I'm, recording my, I, I'm recording only my one screen, but it is not extending the displays right now. It is only showing like half of the display or the whole display on one monitor. And it actually repeats the display on my second monitor. So if you're wondering, well, how do I get it to extend? All you have to do is go to right click on the desktop, go to personalize, go to background, you're already on there. 
And uh, make sure you're on picture. And if you're and if you're not already set your background, you go to browse and you can set it here. Then instead of uh, choose a fit instead of fill, go down to span. And there you go. You can't see, but it changed the picture and now it is expanding to my second monitor, which is really cool. And it has that cool uh, effect now and it is extending on both displays. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Hopefully this helped you guys. So if you do have a dual monitor or even a triple monitor, uh, this will work too. If you have a triple monitor set up, all you have to do is instead of doing 1920 times two, you do 1920 times three. And there aren't many pictures with 1920, like a, a triple monitor display. I don't know if there's a wallpaper that, that that's that wide, but you can make your own in Photoshop or something. Just make sure that the canvas size is whatever 1920 times three is. I, I'm not gonna do the math right now times 1080 would be the height so that is how to do it it's pretty quick it's pretty easy if this helped you out definitely leave a like and leave a comment if you have any comments or concerns hopefully you guys enjoy this and i'll see you in the next video peace out guys